Well, uh, I work in the area of mobile computing, pervasive computing, uh, and Internet of Things. And that span uh, a wide range of uh, applications, uh, including smart homes, smart spaces. Uh, I also work on applied aspects of this research, which is how do you use mobile, how do you use Internet of Things to improve people's quality of life, especially elder people, people with chronic diseases. So I work in the applied area of smart health and health and well-being, and also uh, elder care. Well, the, the, what excites me about my research is uh, the more I do uh, work in uh, pervasive computing and, and try to uh, uh, come up with I new ideas, I realize that my ideas will be short-lived if I don't think of the bigger picture. So what excites me about my research is knowing that it is only part of a bigger uh, ecosystem and uh, try to understand that ecosystem. And that is a new way of, of uh, sort of doing uh, research. That is a new way technology is going. We have seen this happen in mobile computing. When I started working in this research area, everybody was just working on a particular uh, uh, problem to try to solve until the industry came up with the idea of uh, the app store, the ecosystem, changing the roles, who's doing what. So that's what excites me, and that's what I teach my students, is that don't think of the problem you're trying to solve but put it in context, put it in the context of the bigger picture of the ecosystem through which your idea can survive. And we have seen how mobile uh, apps have changed everything. If it wasn't the ecosystem put in place by Steve Jobs, we wouldn't have gone that far that quickly. So as I do my research in the Internet of Things and pervasive computing and smart homes, I go back and ask myself the same question. When is the day that I would wake up in the morning and go to the app store for my home, not for my phone, and download a smart home application. This is uh, a bigger picture, bigger than what I do, but that's how I should think. So that actually gets me excited. Well, some of my students went to uh, big companies to work with them, like Microsoft, Google, and uh, some started their own companies. Uh, and a surprising uh, large number of them continued on to graduate school. So uh, I was lucky that the retention rate was high. I had the same students who I taught undergrad courses, continued on to do masters and even PhD. I think as undergrad students, as you take core courses, uh, for example, uh, operating systems, uh, you ask yourself, well, I'm being taught the operating system of the computer that everybody knows, the, the PC, the server. And uh, you ask yourself, well, uh, what is the operating system of the Internet of Things? If we have things, and these things will understand how to work with each other and form a beautiful new world for us. Uh, these things must have an operating system at some point. So you should position yourself. If you are to go to, the, to grad school, you will be working on the operating system of the, of the thing, of the Internet of Things, exactly as how mobile platforms have evolved. So uh, mobile phones would have been so super devices unless we created the operating system for them or the mobile platform like Android. So think of the very basic thing you are being taught to, 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 be, to will continue with you in grad school, but will actually take different form factors, different shapes. So operating system is one, programming is another, how we program the computer. So you know how to write Java code, you know how to program a typical traditional computer. But you have to ask yourself, how am I going to program the Internet of Things? The fact that you have gadgets and things around you, and you try to program them, it doesn't stop at just knowing Java. In fact, that's not going to be the right programming model or programming language. So there is a lot of open space for innovation, for creation, for new technology. And if you come to grad school, that you're going to be part of that. I think uh, the, the, the tangible steps is to focus on the core subjects and uh, get the fundamental right and uh, step into graduate school to actually shape the future. The future will not be totally disconnected from what you learn. It will just be what you learn put in a little different context. So focus, get the core material covered, jump into grad school to help us create the future.